these stupid machines. Guys, today we're going to take a look at the Beckman Coulter series of centrifuges and how to clear a couple of their error codes. So let's take a look. Here you can see it's giving me an error 99. And this is a rotor related error. When the machine starts up, it spins the rotor with a very specific amount of electricity and it knows what RPM it should experience based on the weight of the rotor. So when you get the error 99, we have to do something about it. That's gonna be your rotor button down here. One of the things I want you to take a look at is your rotors have a number on them and saved inside the device, it memorizes the settings or the amount of current that should draw and the RPMs it should achieve with a certain amount of current based on the, a specific weight of a rotor. So here we have a 4250. So let's see, I'm gonna press rotor. And oh, there it is. Push enter. We hear it change some settings. And the next thing I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and start it up. RPM, let's do 1500. Enter. And start. Okay, so what it's gonna do now is this is the rotor check. See how it's slowly spinning up? And what it's doing is it's measuring how many RPMs it's achieving with a very specific amount of electricity. That's how it knows what rotor it's gonna be at. And you can see, no problems. Cleared the error 99. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. These Beckman Coulter centrifuges, the X22 and the X30, they have a problem with something called the error 28. So what we're gonna do to clear the error 28 is we press the up key, we press it once, then we press enter twice, then we press and hold enter a third time until it comes up with service mode, and then we want to go to number four. Okay, so it says e, EP sir, and then from here we're going to head and press enter twice, and we're gonna erase those error codes. All right, so here we are. It just cleared the memory, and now we're gonna go ahead and run. Start. It's doing the rotor check. And the error 28 is clear. You might have to run this procedure for clearing the error 28 several times. And I wouldn't have known that little secret, except somebody wrote it right here on the side of the machine, which saved my bacon. Let me tell you, clear error 28. Press up one time, press enter two times, hold the enter key a third time until the service mode appears, and then press up until the number of four appears on the AC-DC display. And then you push enter twice, and then you power it up and you shut it down. Now I didn't power it up and shut it down, but it does clear the error code. And I've had to, I had to do it three times to this device, and it eventually cleared the error code. And then it gave me the rotor code, which is the error 99. So then I had to figure out how to enter the correct rotor, but it's engraved in the rotor. So there you have it guys. Not so bad. You can fix these units yourself. So the things I've noticed is these errors are pretty common, but uh, also you have to be aware that there's also some motor mounts that are in the bottom of these things. There's three little uh, figure eights that are uh, some sort of polymer. But anyway, if you ever change out one of those because it breaks, you have to change out all three of them and they're about $80 each. So remember, don't just change out one motor mount, change out all three and then reset your error codes and do your regular calibration verification. Thanks for watching guys.